Hey guys, what's up? It's your fave Black Ethot here, and today we are transforming into a goth bimbo. Now, I, this has been trending all over TikTok, and bimbos themselves has just been rising up recently, and I'm here for it. And I do often kind of wear, I wouldn't say bimbo-inspired clothes, but I'm definitely into Y2K, which there is a few elements of bimbo inspiredness there, so I decided to try something different today and go with a goth bimbo look which has been all over tiktok um they usually obviously listen to goth type of music wear mostly black big boobs big boobs what um ciao anyway so generally like big boobs um wear dark makeup to start off i already did my base because i've already done a video on my everyday makeup and that really didn't change except for adding a little bit more of contouring and um i and i only used a very cool tone contour so it was this shade here which is inside my last video if you do want to check that out how i do my bases anyways let's get started i'm super excited to put some stuff on my face today uh and yeah Okay, so since the base is already done, I am going to go into eyebrows. I was going to, I, I usually cut off half of my eyebrow. That's a very normal thing for me. Like from basically here, it would be shaved off. Um, but I'm trying a new thing where I'm going to grow them out and then bleach them. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to cut off anything today. I've been just basically putting concealer on wherever I don't want hair to show. So that's how we're going to kind of do it today. I'm going to try to do something very thin and high, like angled, because that's what I've seen for my inspiration photos. So yeah, let's just try this. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. Um, I'm just gonna clean it up with a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the lighter one. Um, because like, goths are supposed to be pale. But I'm black, so sometimes when you try to go pale and you're black, you just look fucking like ashy, like gray. And it's just not a cute look. So I'm trying to keep this cute while also trying not to look dead. Oh my god, mess, just a mess. Okay, ooh, watch that wig be lifting. Honestly, since quarantine, I haven't properly put on a wig in it like a minute. Unless it's for a cosplay. I think the last time I did was for my Kakashi cosplay. <laughs> Cause like, I don't really need a wig to last for a whole day. Like, I'm not going nowhere for a whole day, you know what I mean? There we go. I think without concealer, my eyebrows would just be bad. Like a bad news period. I feel like Spock. But like a hot Spock, a sexy Spock. It definitely lifted up my eyes. Whoa. Look, I feel like I have so much lid space now. That's crazy. A lot of, another thing that I seeing a lot with alternative style of makeup is like a brow slit like a slit in your brow which honestly i before like i feel like alternative makeup was becoming more i wouldn't say mainstream but like i guess seen uh visible on the internet um i never associated brow slits with that like brow slit for me especially like early on in my life so i would say like 2000s to 2010s was associated with like rap music hip-hop like all that like a lot of boys would get like brow slits and then match up like their lineup too so like i don't know when this kind of transitioned into alternative makeup all right i'm just gonna add I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and then blend out the edges. 
something like this will work. So now that my brows, base, all that is done, um, I'm going to go right into eyeshadow. So I have a few products here. And because my hair is blue right now, I'm thinking about taking this palette, which is the LA Girl Hot Heat Eyeshadow Palette, which is fucking amazing, by the way. And ooh, taking... Oh my gosh, you're gonna see everything. I don't want you to see everything. You don't need to know about my life. You don't need to know about my business. And taking, um, how can I do this without? Okay, whatever. Taking a few of these like fun colors and definitely the black. I'm thinking like the navy, maybe this inside the inner corner or on the middle of the lid. But maybe that's too bright. It's really pretty though and I want to use it and definitely smoking everything up with this color. So I'm basically just going to use this um, as my main eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be going in with this little um, liquid eyeshadow now. It is the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the color Zodiac. It's a really fun, dark, shifty color and I'm just going to place it all over my eye basically because um, I think that'll be fun, a fun little base. I'm just going to blend it out with just my ring finger. And I'm not really doing it like evenly or trying to be really like clean with it. Very messily, just like all over the lip. All right, and now I'm going to be taking the navy color inside this palette. Again, just on my ring finger and putting that on be anywhere below my crease, basically. Look how pretty that is. Oh my God, under this base. Wow. Wow, goth bimbos wear glitter, right? No turning back now though, so. I'm like in love already. Okay, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and then start blending out uh, the crease with some black. I blended out not this eye so I'm gonna clean that up real quick now no makeup mistake isn't fixable with a little bit of Marcella water and a q-tip and or a cotton round so that's what we're gonna do just to fix up the shape this happens to me a lot because again I'm not good at makeup um, I just like to put shit on my face basically but if you're wondering what I use to clean up my makeup looks it is this guy right here it is the say yes to tomatoes clear skin uh, for all skin types detoxifying charcoal marcella clearing water um, I don't know if this is really great for your skin honestly um, I just had it for a little bit but I do love the pump at the top so this guy basically it's like a no mess pump so you shake it up to activate it and you basically just push down and all the marcella water comes inside this little little cap right there so it's perfect if you have like a little cotton round but i usually just take a little q-tip and dip it inside the liquid at the top and clean it up from there i'm taking just my beauty blender knowing that it's dirty with a bunch of foundation and just going right over the spots i think it looks pretty good the messiness is fine because it seems like a lot of them are ooh, that a lot of alt style makeup um exaggerates under bags so i think that's what we're gonna do today so i'm not really worried about all the mess under my eyes um yeah i really like it so what i'm going to do i think all i want to do is add like a little bit of color a little bit of something and i'm gonna go right back into the palette i'm using here and we are going to be ooh, both of these colors are actually really pretty but i'm gonna go with the darker sparkly purple there purple purple I'm gonna go in with this sparkly darker blue there on my ring finger again like always and oh my look at that y'all see that shit so pretty I'm just gonna hop into my inner corner of my eye I hope you 
okay perfect so now that that is done i i want to add glitter i don't know if like i don't know if any of them are wearing glitter but i want to add glitter like i want to add this as well am i doing too much so now I'm just gonna smoke out that under eye and make it really, really dark and fun. I'm basically gonna take the same brush that I used to put the black on my eye and use that. I'm dipping into the two colors that I already used and yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's for eyeliner, so. So I'm just gonna do a very long, exaggerated wink. Go. done with that so what i think i'm gonna do next is just put some white eyeliner on my lower lashes i do this quite often just because it opens up my eyes and i don't know i just think it looks cute and with this dark of a look i think that it could just be a nice contrast So that's that. I think it looks pretty cute and fun. What I've been seeing a lot as well is people adding um, basically lower lashes. So I think I'm going to do that with just a pair of lashes I have here. Um, and I will, I guess, paint it white to match. So we'll use these guys. These are one of my biggest pairs. And we'll cut up these so let me think should i do like maybe one really big one or i can do like a middle kind of size there I, don't know. I think i'm gonna do the big one because it is at the end and it's gonna be easiest for me to do that Okay, so basically I cut out the section that I want. I put it on my little lash tray and I'm going to take the same NYX liquid liner to paint them white. In the meantime, while that dries, I am gonna be putting on my lashes on my top lash line. I am using the same exact lashes that you've seen me cut up. Um, I'm just going to do some nose contour. I'm using the same cool tone one as before. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to be taking a very harsh uh, highlight today, which is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops with a brush and basically just highlighting my nose. Next, I'm going to be taking a Taper Plum Blush. This one is from LA Girl Just Blushing and it is in the color Just Fearless. Fearless. Taking a fluffier brush, I'm just going into this. It's quite pigmented, so I like to dab it off on the back of my head as well. And we are gonna go right above my contour for the lips so I was seeing more deeper tones and deeper colors um, for the alternative inspiration that I was looking at so I'm going to be taking this which I use as a lip liner literally almost every single day that I put on makeup and this is NYX eye pencil um, in the color black brown and I'm basically just gonna put this all over my lips I'm gonna line it and then fill it in Next, I'm taking this color right here. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Transylvania. And I'm putting this all over my lips too. It's like a deep purple. Yeah. I 
god my lips are so chapped this isn't really as deep and like black as i wanted it to be initially so i'm just going to take the same black eyeshadow i used on my eyes and with my ring finger kind of dab it on my lips and hopefully that helps with the pigmentation so i did overline my lips a little bit because this is not just goth it's goth bimbo and to top it all off i'm going to add a little bit of lip gloss and it's done So I am gonna get inside my full outfit and then we will have a final review. Death Note. So that is it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you dislike it. It's all feedback. Comment down below on what aesthetic I should do next. Follow my Instagram for cosplay content. Follow my TikTok for all the content. Follow my Twitch for gaming content. I'll see you guys next time. And bye. Remember to subscribe, please. And thank you. Love you. Bye.